Hello, everyone. Welcome to Development Palettes. I'm Aaron Loomis coming to you from the Ventura Cigar Company studio. With me today is John McTavish. How you doing, John? Good, man. It's starting to feel a little bit like Christmas out there, you know? We only got like, uh, what, six weeks, five weeks? Six, six weeks, weeks, yeah. It's coming up quick. Get yeah. that shopping done. So today we are talking about the CAO Flathead V19 camshaft. Uh, cigars are Robusto Extra, five and a half inches by 50 ring gauge. Comes out of the SDG, Esteli uh, factory in Nicaragua. Wrapper is Connecticut Broadleaf. Binder is Connecticut Habano. Filler is from Nicaragua and the Dominican Republic. It is blended by Rick Rodriguez. Price point is $11.99. And the cigar is released in August of 2019. So John, how do you take us through your overall experience with this cigar? Yeah, man. Let me just copy my notes because apparently I can't copy and paste. So bear with me one split second here. I was like, hey, that's not my notes. There's my notes. Um, so it's funny because the original, when the original flathead came out, um, I reviewed it and I wasn't expecting much, mostly because it was quite large and I'm not really a fan of large ring gauge. Um, plus I wasn't really sold on the cigar being the blend forward. You know what I mean? Like it seemed like it was a marketing thing towards, uh, gearheads and motorbike guys and car guys. And I was really worried there was going to be marketing forward and not cigar forward. And I was actually impressed with the blend. I thought they, they put a lot of work into it. So I was actually looking forward to the V19. I like that it's a traditional uh, Robusto Extra. Like it's actually a true Robusto Extra. Um, it's not a 54. It's not a 52. Um, so that all of that out of the way, uh, I actually enjoyed this. Um, and I say actually because I think this continues the consistent theme of, of my experience with the Flathead so far. Uh, I've tried them in a number of different sizes. Uh, this size performs, I think, well, as well as or better than some of the other larger or smaller sizes. Um, I got a lot of nuanced baking spices, cedar, some spices like molasses, hay, um, and, and it was all fairly approachable. Uh, I, I'd say the profile never moved above medium for me, so it wasn't too intense in the palate. Um, there's some interesting citrus in the middle third, ready notes. I mean, these are not things that I would normally associate with. I don't want to call it a mass market brand, but this is a fairly market forward brand. Um, the unfortunate thing is that uh, it kind of missed in the last third for me. The, the last third was just kind of um, a little bit less complex than the first and middle third. So still a little bit of interesting flavors there, just not to the same level as the first and middle third. Uh, burn was very good. I, I did have a um, I had a relight in the last third, which was uh, kind of questionable. Um, I don't know if that was a user error or whatever. I guess we'll find out when, when you talk about your construction. Draw was exactly perfect. Um, so, you know, overall, my experience was good. Uh, I would smoke these again. This was, this was an, enjoyable, an enjoyable review in a time where I can't say that for a lot of the stuff that's come out of the IPCPR. What was your overall experience like? Yeah, for me, the flavor profile started with dark wood and baking spice, gained a little bit of mustiness. Um, there were some short stretches of creamy coffee and some vegetal notes uh, with some musty wood being the kind of the core profile. Um, construction was really good. Um, strength moved from slightly below medium to slightly above medium. Uh, but overall, I thought the cigar was pretty average. Um, it did show some typical broadleaf characteristics to it, but they were pretty typical of pretty much any other broadleaf cigar that you could find on the, out on the market. Um, I can see the cigar having a wide appeal, um, you know, like the previous uh, Flathead did. Um, but there was nothing that took it to the level of like a good cigar for me. Um, you know, not something I'm going to be uh, rushing out to go smoke again. Um, but there's also nothing that makes me want to steer clear of it. So, I mean, it's something I'd smoke again, uh, but it's not going to be like I'm beating down the door to, to find some more of them to smoke. So, What's the um, price point on that V19? $11.99. That's so a little up there. A little up there, yeah. I mean, I, I don't know what your smoking time was, but um, I got two hours and nine minutes out of it, which I think value-wise is really good. I was you know, going to be a little concerned if I got an hour and 40 or an hour 35 out of it, but two hours and nine minutes is, is pretty good value out of a Robusto exercise, I think. Yeah, I mean, I had to have been around like two hours and 15 minutes or somewhere yeah. around there. I mean, it's, that's, pretty, that's pretty good. Yeah, yeah, so... Uh, all right, getting to the scores, John, you were the high score at 6.72. I gave it a 5.65. How do you think that 6.72 matched up for you? Yeah, that's bang on. Um, you know, we talk all the time about construction elevating a cigar. To me, construction was exactly what it should be for a cigar at that price point. 
Um, I think the flavors, this is a 6.5, 6.6. I mean, obviously the construction is going to help it, but this is, this is not being brought into the sixes as a result of construction. This is solidly for me in the mid sixes flavor wise. And I would smoke these again. This is, this was enjoyable. Um, I would reach for this. I would look for this in a, in a shop. Yeah, my 5.65 matches up. I mean, it was pretty much average throughout. Um, really good construction, though. Uh, I just felt like the flavors were pretty generic. Um, I still kind of get that, like, homogenized, somewhat sanitized kind of flavor profile from a lot of the stuff that General puts out. So it's kind of fit in there. I mean, I had hints of those, you know, broadleaf characteristics, but it was just like, it was just, I don't know, if there, I don't know how to describe it. This, there's something about the flavors that just don't, pop for me from hmm. some of these cigars so that's kind of where i was at Fair enough. all right if you're just catching this video on youtube be sure to subscribe to us plus to check out the full written review on the website developmentpalace.com follow us on all the social media channels and you can catch all of our review recaps on podcasts so itunes google play and podbean thank you for tuning in we'll catch you on the next one